what's going on guys firewolf tech here showing you guys the zag pro keys for the ipad pro 11 inch we're gonna go ahead and open this up and show you guys all around link for this will be in the description box below so make sure you guys check that out so right in front of the packaging you can see here that it offers a really good 6.6 .6 feet of drop protection it has backlit laptop style keys it's detachable it has a lightweight design and is meant to work with Bluetooth and it will be compatible for all versions of the iPod Pro 11 inch first, second and third generation, including the M2 iPad Pro, which is brand new as well. On the back of the packaging, we get more details of the case. We can see how it detaches from the case itself. You can see the mechanics of the keyboard itself. You can see it's lightweight design, it's durable protection, and it offers a nice holder for the pencil. And it's also compatible for the Zag Pro stylus as well, which is really cool. I don't have that though, but so I can't really show you that. So this is meant to basically, you know, rival the Apple keyboard. So opening up again, we have more features of the actual Pro keys. You can see that it comes with special function keys, multi-device pairing, which is really cool. An adjustable stand, a magnetic closure. It looks like it has seven colors of backlit support, which is really cool. A long lasting battery and it has type C charging. So this is really cool because um, a lot of devices nowadays are gonna be type C going forward. All right, so here we have the actual keyboard itself. Definitely looks really nice. Almost has a, probably like a greenish tone. This is, I guess, the one part of the case. And then inside we have the protective cover. Looks like it to give us a nice quick start guide. Basically showing us all the functionalities and how to pair it. Let's see what else we get here. Okay, nothing else. Looks like it's just the keyboard and the keyboard cover. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our iPad Pro 11 inch and we're going to place it on the case itself. All right, the case fit in really nice. So let's go ahead and take a look around the actual case portion first. Starting from the top here, we can see basically everything is nice and cut out. So microphone input, nice wide opening for our power switch here. Got some nice rubberized texture. The actual buttons are also covered in a nice rubber, rubber piece over here. And this is the actual Apple Pencil holder. This is where you put your Apple Pencil or the Zag Stylus. And on the other side, we have a nice opening for the Type-C connector. Okay, it looks like we have some nice indentation, I believe it's for the actual keyboard itself. And right in the back, you can see a really nice, clean, simple design, which is really nice. And we have the Zach logo embroidered on top. And then we have a nice little cutout for the camera lens. So as you can see here, it's raised really high, so we'll protect the camera if it's on a flat surface, which is really cool. And then the actual keyboard itself, Go ahead and take a look around this first before I put it on. So first thing I noticed is that the outer material definitely has a nice soft material. Definitely a lot softer than this one. This one feels more, a lot more of a harder plastic. It definitely feels a lot softer. So I do like it a lot. You can see the Zag logo on the actual case itself. It has a shiny material over here. And then you know that it's made by Zag. Inside we have a different material, still soft. We have the magnetic closure. This is the actual keys itself. It does feel nice, has a really nice feedback. Do like it. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on here. So I'm going to assume that we want to take this portion over here and I believe we can apply it on either one of these. So I'll just apply it on this one. Oh, look at that. That definitely has um, a magnet over here. So, so this is also a magnet as well. So as soon as I push it close, it automatically snaps. So I do like that a lot. 
And that goes for both of these. Okay, cool. So it looks like the back of this case also has a magnetic um, enclosure here. So as soon as I place this, it automatically detects the magnet. So as you can see here, I just try to pull it out, it comes out. All right, so this is how the keyboard case looks when it's nice and closed. And definitely add some bulk to it, but right off the bat, um, I definitely do like this option over the Apple since the Apple one doesn't provide a lot of protection. This is perfect for that added protection. And we can see here the um, Type-C input here for the, the charger keyboard itself. So that's the only drawback about this is that it doesn't use the smart connector on the iPad itself. So it does rely on Bluetooth. That's the only caveat there. Um, whereas the Apple keyboard is more seamless. But the trade-off, you do get a really nice, well-protected case. So I do like that a lot. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so looks look like from here, we have the option to basically stand it with, with either one of this. This is more like a higher portrait and then this is more kind of like laid down. So you get two different view modes, which is really cool. Now, right off from the bat, I do see a power button right here on the top right. And we can see here that we have the Bluetooth icon on the number one and number two. So this probably lets us know that we can probably connect um, two different um, iPads, I'm assuming, or another device via Bluetooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if my iPad detects this. All right, so it looks like once you hit the power button, um, you just click one of these numbers here, press and hold, and it does put it in pairing mode. You can see here that it's flashing blue. And right there, we can see Zach Pro Keys. I'm gonna click on this and it should automatically pair. I'm gonna hit pair. It automatically says connected, which is really cool. Now, this, this, does, this also has an option for the trackpad, but this is the one without the trackpad. And it's meant to rival the, the Apple keyboard case, which is uh, this one over here. Um, as you can see, this one has a retail price of $180. Whereas the Zag Pro Keys has a price of $110. So it's definitely a lot cheaper than the Apple one. And the main difference is that the Zag um, offers way more protection versus the Apple keyboard. You can kind of see that the your iPad is definitely exposed. So if you're looking for something more protective, then this is definitely the one it gets. Um, I do like the additional function key road on the top here. So I believe if I'm on a browser, um, this looks like a home button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Looks like it took us back home. Let's see if I can double click it. So it functions just like swiping up the screen, which is really cool. All right, so after searching up a little bit here, it was kind of confusing here. So it looks like this is to hide the keyboard if there's an ongoing keyboard over here. Um, to turn on the backlits, um, basically hold the function and then this uh, little um, light, light thing over here on the bottom, and then we can probably turn it on. And then you can cycle the colors over here. I'm gonna give you a nice little zoom up over here. You see this over here, this is to turn on the actual backlit keyboard and this will be to cycle in the seven different colors. So right now I have it set to red, so I don't know if you can see that here. I wish the room was a little bit darker here so you can kind of see. All right, there you can kind of see the backlit keyboard here. Right now it's uh, set to red. more of a purple color. Looks like we have green. Looks like it has three, three different um, lighting settings here, depending on the strength that you want it in. And uh, really sorry, you can't really tell from the, probably like the shot over here, it's really hard to tell. But um, it does have the light up option over here, which is really nice. One thing to also note here, um, I have all of the function keys over here. So it looks like the, um, globe thing over here is a language symbol to tap between different languages. Um, let's see here, we got the volume rocker. Uh, if you ever want to know the battery symbol, you can do function, control, and the battery symbols, or, or just this. And this will light up depending on, you know, letting you know what the status of the battery here is. But as you can know that we have a nice widget over here that shows us the battery life. So let's go ahead and test this keyboard out. So I want to see how it fares by typing it in. Definitely feels really nice.
definitely has a really nice feedback. And I do love the fact that we have functions on the top here. So if I click on home and go straight to home, I can click on this as well. And it brings up all of my applications that I have here open. So if I click on YouTube, for example, you know, have more different, um, more uh, accessibility. See if we do command T, see if it opens up a tab. It opens up so many tabs, which is really cool. Definitely does nice zoom, zoom, pin to zoom. But definitely this keyboard, my first impression is definitely a really nice one. Keys are very solid. I do like to do different, to do different modes that we have here. And I do love how that when you close it, automatically turns off the iPad. So all in all guys, the Zach Pro Keys for the iPad Pro 11 inch is definitely a solid choice. And I will say that this is, for me personally, a better option than the Apple keyboard case that costs a lot more than this because you have the added protection of a really nice solid case all around. It does add bulk to it and it does add a significant amount of weight so you can tell the difference in weight. Um, but if you can get over that, then this is definitely a really great keyboard. I will also review the one with the trackpad. So stay tuned for that. But all in all guys, the keys on this feels really nice. I'm very satisfied with the Zag Pro keys, which is really cool. And then again, what I love about this is that even, even if it's on the keyboard side, we can basically take this out. And then basically we're on just tablet mode. And I love that versatility here that you can just kind of like, you know, take this on the go. Um, bring your keyboard or if you need to basically take it out and kind of like, you know, show somebody something. Um, it just makes it a lot more convenient and it gives you so many different options. And then once you're ready, kind of just snap it back up and you're ready to type again, ready to do all that you got to do. And then um, if you want to basically turn off this uh, keyboard here, you do have to click on the power button over here and that will basically shut off the actual, um, let me see here, I believe you press and hold. Okay, it gives you a little red indicator there. And after that, it pretty much uh, turns itself off. So that's the only difference here that is, although it's not a seamless experience, because you know, it requires you to click on the power button to make sure it connects. Um, but if you guys, if you can get past that, I do think this is a really solid option because once you click on the power button over here, it should automatically connect. Just like that, automatic connects, and it gives you the option to pair another device. Um, so all, all guys, I highly recommend the Pro Key, the Pro Keys for the iPad Pro. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Again, link for this will be in the description box below, so make sure you guys check that out. Thanks so much for watching, guys.